everybody and welcome to another stream. Um, okay then, so this is Zombie Cure Lab. I've had a little play around with it um, and done a tiny bit of the tutorial, but it is what it is. Um, this, this game is in early access mode, so this may not be... Can't hear you. Well, everything's working on my end, so I'm not sure why. Um, is that a common thing or what? Can anyone hear me? Should be. Music is too far from the game sound. Um, that should be right down now. Um. That. Um, I'm getting like an output through my microphone, so I'm not sure why. Why is that? That's a bit better. Okay, but can you hear my? Can you hear my voice? Is this any better? Um. Right, okay, so this is Zombie Cure Lab, and it's in early access mode, so um, it's quite new, I think, <laughs> um, but it looks really, really fun, so I thought I'd give it a shot and see what happens, and yeah, okay, right, I'm gonna just jump straight into a new game and see what happens, and um, maybe I can put on, like, the effect narration thing um, through this new microphone. Okay, let's go and try. It's currently a mystery on how it happened, but one of the tragic day, we were overrun by zombies. Anyone bitten by a zombie turned into one. Their ranks grew endlessly. They provided impervious to any attacks. And thus, in what felt like an instant, civilization fall. Okay, that was a bit weird. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I have played this very slightly in the sort of tutorial phase just to pick up the basics of it because it's quite an in-depth game. So, um, right, okay. So, um, I don't think I'm going to use the... <laughs> uh, in the remote reaches of northern Canada, there exists Moose Labs. This is an underground facility. A group of scientists are busy researching a cure. The scientists were largely separated from the hordes of the zombies apocalypse and so they chose to fight back with their greatest weapon science they have made their first steps in developing a cure for zombie virus okay so right um, and now it's time for some perilous field work the scientists of moose lab have gathered their bravest members your mission is to build a laboratory defend it with the zombie attacks Cure zombies, treat them, help them regain their humanity. It's time to cure the world. Let's do this. Right, okay. I think we should. Right, okay. So this is what I did to start with. Um, I think this is just like a play around. Um, so sh I think we'll start on the very easy one until we can pick up the game and sort of um, work out what it is that we have to do. And how the game's played. So, obviously I've only done like the tutorial, but mm. that seemed quite in depth just in itself. So, right. Um, the game itself is a little bit like um, Theme Hospital, I would say, um, or Two Point Hospital it is now, um, combined with like, mm, no idea. <laughs> Okay, that was a cockerel. Okay, welcome to Zombie Cure Labs. Our game is currently in early access and already contains a lot of content for the basic version of the game. However, we still have a lot of improvements to make and the game uh, to the game and want to keep developing and adding new content. If you encounter any bugs, please let us know. Okay, so yeah, that's, so yeah, I did sort of find that earlier so we've got to place our ground base so i'm gonna look for let's get a overview um i want to place it with some trees in 
because I know we have to harvest trees. Um, this, but I don't want anything too much in the middle, so um, maybe, maybe about here. Okay, so we've got our base and we're building up there. Let's put this put that right next to it. So, right, finish your first level. Um, oh, okay, so let's do that. So, oh, here we are. We have our helicopter coming down to drop off some scientists. There we go. Right, so we do know we need to build sort of. actually go in and we can actually click on this and assign people or remove people from from that list and same here so i don't know how the gameplay is going to be like later on um as they develop the game more but so far it looked pretty fun um and later on we can sort of expand out the back and take these berries because i think these berries are quite important to um, getting um, extra bits um, to convert in them from normal to from zombies to back to like a mid human. It's just you have. I think you have to like um, cure them once, and they become like is it a humble or something like that? A hombi or or something weird like that. Um, and then we um, have to keep researching stuff uh, until we can cure them back into humans and then we can put them back into the population. Or we can assign them back to scientists and things like that. So, and at night time, we will get attacked. So we can actually create weapons and things to freeze them and then study them. So, right. Um, I think one of the first things that I want to do is I want to try and get maybe a fence around this section. So, let's build that. Um, here in the this way, I don't know. So, let's just... That, that's 48. And then we'll do it down to here. Okay, we've surrounded that. They can't get there at the moment. That's another problem. Um, and... Should be able to break these. So, delete that. Can we? Okay, someone should be coming along to remove these fence posts. This should be accessible now. It is, it's accessible. So they'll start building these walls around. Hopefully that will be okay. I don't know whether one will slip past there or something. Maybe I should build a gate in here or something, maybe. Or we can put this uh, as a higher priority and get them to dismantle it. And then we can build around. 
Maybe that. Um, so we'll put this as a high priority for them to strip it to pieces. And then build a fence round because I don't want a zombie just walking straight in and else that'll be game over, pretty much. Um, oh, I think we can actually check. Um, show safe areas. Okay, so yeah, they literally can get in here somewhere. Oh, is that because of this at the moment? Yeah, I don't know. Um, right, I'm going to see if it'll let me. there so maybe that is safe because it's touching this wall but i don't know if they can come this way so right um chat i've been ignoring chat um so i am almost at 50 followers which is absolutely awesome and uh, so thanks everyone that's followed so far uh my favorite game obviously that's going to be minecraft um it's going to be my favorite game forever and yeah what's my favorite game again yeah that again is minecraft minecraft is my favorite game and we will be getting very shortly into a whole new sort of se series of minecraft which is like in create uh, which is a really heavily modded Wow, that's the first time I've actually heard that. <laughs> that's one of my new alerts. So thanks very much for the follow there. Um, it's very much appreciated. Um, and oh, now I've just moved it all the way around. So, yep, thank you very much for the follow. Um, and, yeah, um, I'm, I'm sort of lost to what I'm supposed to be doing now. Um, oh, they're breaking down that car. So I need to build a gate. build the gate maybe we should build the gate just around about here somewhere and then we can build like the weapon that sort of flies oh we need we need to build a re we need to build a kitchen and things we've got nowhere for them to sleep and we've got nowhere for them to eat so let's quickly build a kitchen um let's put that up in this top corner maybe Wow, well, that didn't work. Um, so build this 10 by 10. Yeah. That's going to cost us 220 wood. That's quite cool. Um, and then we'll build a door. We'll place that just there. And we're going to need a dining table somewhere. Is that going to be okay? Place it there. So that little diagram just there, that means that this has been placed, but obviously there's no room around it, so we'll just ignore that warning for now. So while they're building that, we'll construct a bedroom. And we'll do that again, like 10 by 10, if we can. I may need 10 by 9. I don't know what that is, and I don't want to delete it. Rotate. Let's do five beds in here. Okay, now we'll stick another one. And then somewhere they can watch TV. So obviously, they need to watch TV. So. Um, I need a door. Um, yeah, it's no good having a bedroom without a door in it, is it? Um, so, that's that's pretty much the base structure of this all built out and all we need to do then is um we need to get ice so to get ice we need is it the need
highlighted in white. So, click that. Right, it's night time. I don't know if we're going to get an attack tonight. So, this will be quite interesting to find out to see if we do get attacked or not. So if we do need to create a fence, we can now create a new fence around the queue. So... Got a lot of people in there. Still building these buildings. Well, maybe that's right. No zombies tonight, so no zombies on the first night. So, okay, that's a little bit of a gift. Um, so, right, we're going to go and build a research lab, I think. I think it's the science room for a research desk, yeah. So, we're going to build that. because I no longer have that on my system. Um, Satisfactory, that is a huge, huge game, and it's just it's actually had two new updates since I've played it. We did go and play it um, a couple of months ago, I think it was, after update six came out, and we basically checked all the base to make sure everything was where it was supposed to be and reconnected all the power lines because the terrain generation came and we re-cleared out all of the mobs between the power plant and the main structure factory base. Um, so Satisfactory probably will get played again very shortly. Um, it is a game that I do really like. Um, but as for Raft, It was enjoyable, but um, it's just taking up too much on my system. And with my time frame, it's another really big in-depth game to get into. Um, so I did actually save the raft save file. I didn't delete the save file, so saves are all still on there. New games I got Surviving the Abyss. That is really, really good. That actually only came out about a few days ago. And I got that in early access, like the first log early access. That is really, really good. It's also really, really in depth and it's very strategical on how you play the game. So you can end up like in a constant death loop if you play the game right um, there's a couple of other small smaller games um, am, I am I gonna film the abyss I may do a stream on it at some point um, there is just a load of other games that I've got which I've never streamed and um, factory town is something that I would like to go and stream again um, and there's another game that's a Pretty much like Satisfactory, which I 
would love to do. But I'm also going to be streaming Farming Simulator 22 as well. There's another game that's going to be streamed um, at certain points because there's an active server on there now. But, so, right. Um, kitchen's built. Bedroom's built. Science room is built. So we can go and have a look and see if how many research points that we have. Actually, how do we check? We've got one, two. So we've got two research points. And we need this one. Food ice pack production. We need to um, build this one, this bellow breezer. Um, so we need 50. So we'll have to keep an eye on the this right here. Keep an eye on that. So, oh, game saves automatically. <laughs> um, so, oh, Apple Boy, you already know that you're part of the farming simulator crew already. So, it's going to be the three of us that play that. I don't really want to build a gate right now. Because I don't... I think when I get build the gate, I think I'm going to get attacked. I don't want to build the gate until I have some... some ice in the storage. It could be just fun just to do it, just to see what happens. But... Oh, transform up. All the power comes from here. We've got four power poles. So when we do need power, we have to connect off of these poles. I did make that mistake in this tutorial. I built the buildings all the way around them and I couldn't get the poles out anywhere. I had to move all the buildings and stuff to try and get some power. Um, wild vegetables. That's an interesting thing. Maybe they harvest them as well. Maybe. Vegetables are there too. Hmm. Oh, we are going to get attacked tonight. Upcoming events. Zombie attack. <laughs> Absolutely magic. Right. Going to be in for. Going to move for quite a night. Um. How much would have we got? Got only three thousand, so we're good with that. Plenty of fancy food. Um, what's this? Simple food. Grilled meat, we've got none. Normal meat. No, we've got none. So. Like these dudes are all waiting for something. I don't know what they're waiting for. All in, that's fine. That's all in. For. What are we waiting for? Oh, they're going out to go and get some stone. The animations are actually pretty smart as well. A little bit slow. But look, it's just ram that wheelbarrow like directly right into that rock. Hello? You all just chilling out, having fun. Marvellous. Well, glad you're having a great time. So, um, where else have we got to do? All these. There's, there's really not much else that I can do or build or anything at the moment, is there? Um, creep chamber. Could actually put that in the science lab. We'll build that now so it's ready. That will give some of them something to do. Now we need power. Ah, that's why we build two and not leave the gap of two and not one. So we can pull. Oh. 
hard for me to do it. So that should power this science room. What's this? This fellow gets down here. Yep, yeah, there we go. So that treatment room is all up and running. Inside the breezer, we can put. We can start gaining ice, and then we can build like the cannon outside the gate. So we we do need power for that. So, and I want to build the gate right here. So, I'll build the power poles after I've built the breezer and things. So, come on, I need five more research points. Speed it up, maybe. Speed it up slightly. Right, 47. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. We get night time very shortly. 29, 50. Right, back to normal speed. And we'll build. Oh no, we just not build. We'll research it first. Okay. So now we can build it. I don't know where it is, though. It's in the fence. A snowball shooter. Hmm. Where does it go? Fellow breezer. There it is. So I think this needs power. We'll put that there. That should allow people to get in and out of the thing. Yep, that has gone. some of these people out of here so they can sleep. We'll just put one a day shift instead of night shift. <coughs> we don't want them too bad. Um, oh yeah, so the kitchen. Because um, when the zombies get converted they need their own food. So kitchen. And they're going to need a meat cultivator. So we'll build that there. And then they eat off a of feeding pile. So we'll put this down there. So we have the, the stuff ready for them. Oh, the music's gone off. Is it going to start again? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So. What? Oh, look there. Upcoming events. Upcoming zombie attack. It's getting very close. Mm -hmm. 
we need to build the gate, don't we? Because the, apparently they will always attack the gate first. So I want to put that as close to that as possible. <coughs> Also, apparently, the the meat cultivator apparently needs power too. So, you mean what is this game about? Um, it is, as I said, like at the beginning when I did like the little. Um, down of the game. It is a, an apocalypse game, a little bit like Two Point Hospital, that sort of thing. So zombies come up and we can capture zombies and we can convert them back into humans. So this is like a scientific experiment of um, your question in just a minute. Just need to move this. And I need to put a power pole. So we are gonna get into that. Okay. We're getting attacked. I can hear the badness coming. So snowball shooters already. Got the base on high alert. Not you. You need to be shooting a cannon. Here they all come. Zombies. Run all up. Should not be safe in there? Not safe. There we go. How is this supposed to take the gate first? attack the gate first. why they're not out the lockdown, back to normal 
speed. Threats gone, and hopefully they'll build these walls. And the walls all built. They should attack the gate. shortly to shift that there and I think that still will power it. a load of different milestones that you need to reach um, there is goals um, that you have to follow on Twitch and once you get those goals you can become affiliated um, right why can't why is If that shift helps that, maybe that's in the same problem. If that, maybe that white thing needs to be felt. Looks like it. Okay, so uh, what goals? Um, I don't think I could talk about what the goals are. Um, it's just to do with follows and the amount of average views and stuff that you get. Um... Right, is this now manned? No. Yes. Oh, but he's on night shift, so someone only mans that on nights. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, because obviously you're never going to be under attack during the day. So, we could actually delete all of these wall sections now. We've got this other section in place. We do slightly have another problem, is we're going to have a food problem very shortly. Right. It's a shame we just can't... You know, like, hold and drag all of them have to do them all individually that seems a little bit maybe that's something they'll change in like, full release or something maybe it seems a bit okay so um what else can we do we need to 
So anything that we can do or research for food. Um, we're using food, food, there we go. So vegetable production. Okay, so let's research that. What does that do? Requires an operator. Small patch for growing vegetables. Um, okay, so can we build that? Is that something that we can do? Decorations. Kitchen. Oh. Vegetable planter. Okay, so that's new. I haven't seen this bit before. So, probably are going out outgrow the space so we're probably going to have to make um start expanding out a bit over into this area because we're going to want these trees mm -mm. so yeah let's build some more walls um defensive and let's take some from that see that feels wrong as well like having to hold okay we're going to lose some of these trees unless we go right up here Yeah, let's take all of those. And then down with it. Oh. No, we don't want that. Oh, it cancels the lock. Marvellous. Absolutely fantastic. So to me it feels like a bit of a fault right so now we should have access to this area when they build it what I want now is Resources. That's something that we're going to have to find out. <coughs> so, we are going to get attacked again. Jelly beans. my favourite sweet. Oh my god, I don't know. Definitely not jelly beans. Um, I don't know what my favourite sweet is. Probably chocolate. Mm -mm. I'd probably say that was one of my favourite sweets. Dairy milk. That's probably my favourite. Um, but yet again, that the new like mint crisp. Oh, that is really tasty too. Really do like the mint crisp one. So tasty. Right, I think. Resource camp. I think I need to move. resource camp now to here. That should expand out. Um, what's the question mark for? What's that? What? Mint crisp? Cadbury's mint crisp. It's like a... It's just dairy milk, but it's got like little bits of mint inside. Really tasty. Um, 
Hold on. Back. That is mint crisp. Just there. Right, we're gonna get attacked. Let me have a, this wall belt. Let me have a big hole in the fence. Attacked by four zombies this time. And they're just going to be able to walk, like, okay. So, just attack with that. So. Don't damage me building. So they all barricaded themselves in. Just gonna see this night out. The morning comes. Let's repair what we can. And then hopefully they'll carry on building all these fences and get this done so. really are having a go at the game. done through my go xlr so yeah, i just change all the presets and stuff and I just press one button and just jump straight to the effect that i've set it to which is really cool i love my go xlr because everything in here i can literally just add change music literally do raise system sounds shorten the system sounds it just everything is so much easier so between the stream deck and the go xlr like probably two of my favorite components for my pc right now Um, it does anything that I want to program into it. So there's loads, so you can put like echoes on it and stuff. 
so if I wanted to have like um, something that's like really echoey. Um, like the voice that I just used. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to have a big echo. An echo. Or you can set like reverb. You can change it all the way around. So you can have it like this instead. There's just so much you can do with it. Loads. I like it. And this one's probably my favourite at the moment. It's just simple. And I thought it'd suit this game. I do plan on using that feature in like, um, on using the Go XLR and using that feature on Minecraft. So I think that'd be really fun, like, um, going up to somebody and like setting it to like something really scary and walking up and going <laughs> I've got you and then it's just so quick and simple to do and I think it'll really freak people out <laughs> so I'm looking forward to using that feature and seeing what reactions we get on server um come on build the fence faster I don't want to get attacked again oh right yeah we are going to get attacked again so Oh, wait, it's a regular attack this time. So, I need to get this thing operational. I need someone sitting in it. At the gate. That gate hasn't been repaired yet, has it? Repair gate. Let's send someone to it. Um, all this needs to be deleted too. So, we need more people. <laughs> Oh, we've got a sustainable food source now as well, look. We have a feeding pile. So, yeah, we have food now, which is great news. We've got loads of research points. Let's go and have a look and see what other, other things we can do for research. Um, needs. What's this? Couch. Um, fence gates. Try to get a wooden fence gate. This. Oh wow, that needs 450 research. Oh, so then we get like stronger fences and stuff. Okay, right. Get it now. So we've already unlocked all this stuff. So getting. Yeah, we need 450. So I thought we had a lot of research points. We really don't have a lot of research points at all. Um, so production. Um, research point. No, we haven't. So we have now. Um, and then we can research the freezer. So we've got metal production. So what does this do? Smelts. Ores into metal by burning wood. Simple but inefficient. Okay, so okay, so we need to build um, some form of smelter, I guess. Does this need power? Let's see. Requires ore, wood, and metal. The building cost. It doesn't say if we need power. So, put it down here. Build it here next to this building. Um, yeah. Come on, hurry up. Get that fells. Fells? Fence built. Come on, build, build, build. Yeah, we need to get this done. Um, I really don't want to spend another night in lockdown. And I want to capture my first zombie. So I can't capture it until you build this fence. <laughs> right. Come on, build. Oh, there you go then. Yeah. That, that's the bleep feature of the Go XLR. Um, right, so what? This takes ore, and. Oh, we currently don't have any ore. 
that's the ore deposits there. Okay. So that makes sense. We're almost out of wood too. Um, can you upgrade the worker's speed? Probably. Um, layout. Is that something to do with food maybe? Um, make them faster. Greenhouses, dining tables. Hey, we've got one that changes their mood. Uh, vegetables. Um, e five two. No, I don't think so. I don't think it changes any of their movement speed. Unless it's something like this. Batteries. Holes. No, I don't think so. Oh, we've got some more stuff. So, what was that other one that I wanted? Um, decoration. Decoration at this point in time. Oh, Dalmarie. Equips a human level 3 zombie. Are they slow? Yes. Oh, that's 19, you said. I'll have to hold that. Um, I need a freezer. That's under production, so we've got all the level 1 things complete. So then we can start working towards getting level tier 2. <coughs> And the dudes move, do move like pretty fast anyway, look. That fence. Oh, it's all built. We can dismantle this other piece of fence. It's sticking out. And I think that recycles it actually. You have the wood for that, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um so if we dismantle all this lot as well. Um it said if you press delete it also works. So maybe just doing that. So that's fine. There's not really much we can build for now. Hmm. Just have to leave it. The night bot is like completely automatic, so. first night that we're actually going to be able to capture a zombie so technically if I do this oh yeah <clears throat> all of this is green this means that this this zone is safe so right no one joined us Yeah, 
So now we're going to get attacked. Oh my, there's a whole bunch, of, there's a whole horde. Here comes the first one, where are you going? In the corner. Go up to the gate, go up to the gate. Come on. Oh, he was going to shoot. He's going to shoot, he's going to shoot. There he goes. We can maybe get our first zombie. Get our first zombie. Go on, free him. Wow, oh, that seriously takes a small amount of time. It'll be morning before we, we have to even get anywhere with this thing. Oh, the gate will be busted. In fact, I think they can repair it from the, this side. Why they're attacking it. First zombie, there he is. He just picked him up. What? What? He just literally went outside and picked him up. And... <laughs> oh my! So now we're experimenting on a zombie. Uh, we're going to try and turn him into a... Okay, so you've changed your name now. Okay. Uh, you're joining me to the level two Humbies. And now begin. Take good care of your level one Humbies or they might get angry. Provide them with meat and a training room. Oh, I haven't got a training room. Um, you will need the following to get level two Humbies. A tier two technology. Gear process level two. And you by sending level one Humbies to Moose Lab. How do you send them to Moose Lab? Hmm. Let's find out how to do that. Treatment chamber level two and grilled meat. Okay, so we haven't got grilled meat. Um, so I think most of that's level two. So we need a training room. So we're going to have to build a training room. like expand this fence now. Uh, there he goes again! Just like literally took him through the fence. So we've, we've already got food for them. to work the night shift anymore. You can just work through the day. <laughs> so in the morning these are all coming off. Well they get very slow as well when they I do that. 
right, okay, so we're gonna build some more fences. We're gonna need to expand this thing. Expand this. And we'll go up here. Hopefully that won't take too long. <clears throat> but I'll leave all this other wall just in place just in case and then we'll move the gate out and we'll move the cannon out slightly. It'd be cool if you could have the cannon like on a second. Got about another 50 odd minutes left, yeah. Um, sure. Okay, just minimize that for now. should start looking at maybe like increasing power as well because we've only got this one solar panel the power is going up and we're gonna have a weak attack wow a weak attack now is seven zombies and a strong attack is now 14 Sleep automatically anyway, so maybe not. Ah. So let's keep you. Yeah, they go to sleep on their own. So. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. I thought we had two hombies. That's one, and there's two. is built. Move that fence to here. Now let's not put it too close to there because I'll start attacking that wall. Let's put this down here. The snowball cannon over here. And then we're going to need to do something with a power plant. Um, let's get that done quite quickly. Let's put that there. And now that the operate. Yeah, because it's the wrong way around, that's why. Leave 
when they rebuild that. The right way around. Did I turn it too much? Asleep. Come on, I need this. It's done. Like, as of yesterday. Come on, beeps. Where are you? There's the crafters. Have we run out of some form of materials or something? What are you doing? Like, what? No, don't give me. Uh, come and get this problem fixed. Oh, we are sitting duck house. Um. Oh, well, you're doing a good job. <clears throat> My hombie's still just sitting there. Buy more. You can actually request more, but I don't know how to do it. Um, world map. Is it something to do with this? Um. Moose, moose lab. Right, okay. Workers. Level 1 Humbee. So I can actually send these to them. Um, and they will send me another worker. So now I go back. I don't want to restart mission. So I just click that again. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think they're sending a helicopter now. So we should see a helicopter land somewhere around about here. Very shortly. But these aren't actually doing anything. Oh, they can't get there because of the fence. Of course, because they... Oh, that's why they're not doing no, because... I took away the gate. My bad. Completely my fault. Helicopter arrives. Workers are leaving. Okay, so we sent the Hombies away so they can get researched at the lab. This is all working now. That's great news. We've got power all over. And we can now break down these walls, I guess. slightly and oh that's got some resources to it um what's this camping tent oh look there's steel and stuff in there so what do we do with this what do we do with this General 
We need some guards. Frozen zombie storage. Alright, cool. And then... So... So it's worth... Oh, it's, um, it's in-game music, so... It's just taking a break. <clears throat> it's just started again now. <clears throat> um, right. Okay, so I'm... Um, Turn a person that's currently unemployed like <laughs> you into a security guard. What are they all doing? guns but to build more guns I need more of these and then I would need more of these and then I would need more of skill training then I would need more meat cultivators I don't think I'm quite ready to have two of them on the go just yet but I would like to have another one like right beside your gate yeah, they'll come luck they're all down here they're all crashed into this rock which is a mountain to the gate. Come on. That'll be so much better when it's been researched and modified. the gate. get through there and there's a zombie walking in the room. Also, they do some good things.
over. Life is almost over. Two zombies, three zombies. Hopefully we might get four. Oh, he's gone to sleep. He's tired. So, yeah, we won't be getting four. Can't pick them up, dude. There's still four zombies sitting there. Is there? Is there someone with a fucking man? This one? Be really nice. That's it. It's gone. You can pick them up now. You can pick them up and take them in and. And we can send these ones off in this lap too. Can we get research for sending? You need that to hit 400 and 450, is it? 450? And then we can build like this two, tier 2 stuff and then we can start like getting steel fences, is that right? Yeah, um, yes, yes, 450. Once we get that, we can start building like steel stuff. Uh, or is it brick? Okay, so brick. So brick fences, brick walls, brick walls, brick doors. Hiding locker. One worker can hide in here when fleeing <laughs> from a zombie. Oh, that would be so funny. Like run away and just go and lock, lock himself inside a little locker somewhere. Like, yeah. I'm gonna get you. No, I'm not gonna hide in the locker. <laughs> right, um. I'm not gonna expand this section out this time. What I am gonna do is gonna relocate this up. Need that to still be in it. Up there, so now we've got some more trees. So we've got a constant supply of wood coming in. I really like that. Can do that. Just, instead of having to keep building new ones, just move. Oh, is this where the walls originally were? Is it? So we can always see like a uh, like a footprint of where we were, what we originally had, to what we've got now. Oh, that's really cool. So that means like later on, when like when we're, you know, like when we're really starting to expand out into the map and stuff i think what we should be maybe working on now though is maybe trying to get over to here so we can get like these ore so i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna get there um so i don't think like a little passageway is gonna fit down here I don't really want to encase that entire thing. Is there any more ore anywhere else? Is there anywhere else that's got ore? Oh, here. This one would probably be easier to get. Um. So what I might do is build a fence across here, across here over there if i do that the zombies are going to start attacking it like quite quickly so do i build out gradually is there any or this side ah there's some this side too oh what's this technically steel You know what? I am going to start to build um, fences, and each day I'm going to expand on the fence, you know, so we can get all of this all. Do this for day one. Then day two will will go this way, and day three will go up this way. And then what I might do is. 
Make like a little funnel, so you know, like they have to walk in to the thing. This guy actually gets a lot better because you can build corridors between buildings and all sorts like that later on. Um, so this is like very, very early game. So even though they're small, we still got 400 stuff, and once we've got that, we can start blasting that furnace up. But we've still got another half an hour of the stream, so we probably will get this done today. <clears throat> um, I don't really want to research anything else because I want to save up the points for research. What does this do? Oh, so I can actually build a fridge. What does that need? Steam power. Put it here. Not enough workers, not connected to power grid. Oh, is it because this isn't built? Let's just turn this entire room into a cooling chamber. I want this key. So this doesn't work here. So this needs its own room. So maybe we'll build a cooling chamber up here and we'll take some power up here. Maybe that's the right way to do it. Okay, so let's do that. Um, general building. Just a corridor. And we will... Oh, yeah. Doesn't need to be big. What was that other thing that we had? Um, when we did this. Um, does this require power? No. It needs to be in a cooling room. Oh, that's.
Right, so, um, <coughs> I put them in backwards, which wasn't great. Wasn't. Um, so hopefully, I think we can store zombies inside here. Uh, do you know what I should really probably do as well? this night oh well that's interesting so that means we can carry on with this um fence in the dark i didn't look at there button and it put a, it's obviously a shortcut button and I put the whole thing into lockdown See, that's level one, that's level two, level three, and cured, so we can turn them back into humans. Oh, I've got no cool. We can actually ask for any of these resources as well, by the way. Um, and they'll put them into a container for us. So we're going to send them to here. have like cure process to like get them up to level two or you can have it for research points let's let's change it to research points we'll send a helicopter and go back to our own world okay that's cool that's cool that's cool so i'm guessing like we can go to other little colonies as well I like in this game, I like the way that it works. Um, no one's already done this shit. Three workers are leaving, there we go, one, two, three. Here comes the helicopter. Pick them up. It's going to drop off. So you actually don't 
have a job? Oh, you're the meat cultivator. No. Yeah. Me? What about you? You haven't got anything assigned. left of this stream for tonight and I'm hoping to get all this finished. Oh there we go. That's getting done. And that's building that's getting done now as well. So okay we're in full production mode now. So obviously some of them were asleep. So I think we got the, the ratio of beds right, the ratio over here right. Waves and stuff. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. That might be handy, like if we're under attack or something, we can send out a frost wave. Um, didn't know about that. The more I play it, the more that I'll probably understand about the game, obviously. But what I really need to do is get that research from. 450. I think that should really be the stream goal, is to get that 450 by the end of the stream. So. Yeah, 450, 450. Shouldn't be that hard to do. We only seem to have one one person working. Oh, it's two people working on it. This hasn't been finished yet either. Well, that's sad. I don't need another one of these resources. I need another 
resource camp down here to collect this. And if I do, do I need more people? This is where having better, <clears throat> a better treatment stuff and things like that will all come in handy. Because... Uh, we can change them from zombies to humbies and then from humbies to humans and then they can join our crew so that is going to be like the goal for this so, so far it's, I think it's really enjoy a really really enjoyable game <clears throat> it's just um, I've got bedroom I've got couches I've got this I've got all of that we've done pretty much all of that so the only thing that we've really got left to do now is to what is that? chemicals refined chemicals of fertilized village on next number advanced technology okay well that's interesting this game is like really expands on other things so it's going to be interesting to see like when we level up we tear up uh, maybe this isn't the way to go maybe um Maybe this is the way to go. To have like curing process done. Cure process. Need a hundred for cure process. Okay, so we need a lot more wood. We're, we're almost there. We've got the metal for that. We can actually import wood over anyway. And then we can build the treatment chamber too. But in order to do that, we need the grill. So we, we would need that. And is this um, grilling meat? Yeah, we would need this grill. them for other things. So maybe it's even worth having another cannon. Because we really are um If we can have three cannons, we are going to have a threat. Fifteen back in tonight. Fifteen zombies are going to come and attack tonight. That's fifteen zombies coming to attack me tonight. And I need to survive. At least once we've turned them into humbles, we can send them away and we know we get fifty research points for each one of them. So... Can we do it in the next 12 minutes? Let's speed this up. Because we can. And you're trapped. Congratulations, sir.
Is it? So let's just check, make sure we're all sealed in. Yep, we're all safe inside here. Apparently, we're not safe on the ore deposits. So maybe that's just a rendering issue or something. Um. So yeah, we've now got this space where we can mine for this stuff. We can eventually take all this away as well. So obviously we're going to expand right out, like, right over to here. I'm really liking this game so far. Right, let's get it to 9. Because I want... I want to try and catch, see how many zombies we can catch with now three cannons. solar panels. Um, is there anything under that? Everything we can have is them. So research. Um, about electricity. Power storage. Generators. Juices when up. Wind turbine. Our system research. be inside like a hamster wheel and then keep running and yeah um in turbine maybe way to go just to set it as the pace to do it so let's build a Generator. Let's build a wind generator and then well, if we've got the power to so if we've got one person in the machine and um, no power. Obviously, right next to a power line. Power's good. Everything's working. They should keep refreezing. Need that. Dude, get converted. Don't have to give up on him. Yeah, I think we sent him over to there. So 
we, we got three and half of our power out was out for the night. So we have a regular attack. 20 zombies attacking tonight. That's not good. The amount of zombies keep getting more and more. Got another zombie there. Any more? <clears throat> oh, we need more um, power. These can these cannons run that power out really quickly. So I know this will keep going all night, but I think we need more power storage. So. I don't know if that's something we should research now. It only costs 50, so let's just do it. Um, this has got to be connected to the power grid too. Right, let's have a quick one. Um, power storage. Wow, that's a big, bulky item. You know what, let's just build it there, right behind it, and we'll have it in this little network. Um, very janky. Right, okay, so we've got some extra power storage. Send them to Moose Lab. So, to Moose Lab, and we'll send our three hombies to Moose Lab to gain some more experience, uh, some more research points. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. And we'll just wait for them to get into that container and then get carried away. Okay, so send them away. And then I'm still unsure about which thing to do first. Power, probably not. Layout. If more and more we're going to get attacked more and more by the seams of it, are we going to need stronger walls first? Or do I just bite the bullet and go for a level two, bait, a level two tier lab so we can... Um, oh yeah, the, the, the zombies are leaving. The helicopter's on its way, so we're about to get picked up here. Now, oh. Um, oh yeah, it's all strapped together. Oh, that's pretty smart. Like, it's all connected together with wood because it's damaged. Um, yeah, 
So that's going to give me... I need to make a decision, like, really quickly on what it is that I do because we're about to get them 150 points. Um, I could have actually put two research tables inside here. And we would make research points even faster. But I don't want to. Because we've only got 20 crew. Hmm. Just wait for them to get back to Moose Lab. Collect the points. And I think I'm just going to... I think I am just going to do... Ice pack. Chemical extractor, stone cutter, resource, no, freezing. Don't really need any of these. Snow cannon too. Now that would be cool. Okay. So that's what I need. That treatment, the treatment chamber two is what I need. Oh, do I need that first? So... I need... 3,000 wood. Um, let's see if Moose Lab can send me maybe a thousand. What can they send me? 40. It's going to take 90 minutes to get there. Hmm. 60 minute round. Oh, is that? You know what? Let's just do it. Send a helicopter. Um. So I don't think that's game time. I think that's game time, not. Oh, hello. What kind of events? Why have we got here? Upcoming zombie attack. Regular attack, 20. It's gonna arrive at quarter past eight tonight. So. Power reserves, they look a lot more healthier than what they did. So our power, my power grid's pretty, pretty good. But the moment these things, it drops drastically. So let's hope we're all good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But these will keep running though during the night, and we only had a solar panel, so without the with the wind generators where's the music gone um with the wind generators running we'll have power all the way through the night this time right. An empty container exchanged oh yeah because we're not sending anything back to moose lab so just and these dudes are I don't want them on rocks, I want them on trees. So, these are higher priority. Because we need wood. Right, the room's here. are all in the cannons ready oh well they, they bash that as well thought they would do that when we extended out that they would start bashing this but we can get that cure rate thing this time because every one of the ones that we freeze this time we can send back to get like the cure rate up so, right, okay, so we've got zero. Just a regular attack. There's 20 of them. Oh, look at them. They're all going to attack this corner. No, they're, they're, they're all going to attack this corner. Oh, no, he's coming to the fence. They're all going up to the gate. Still 
Gut. Even though we're using two cannons, and now we're at negative one, we have, should have enough to last a long time. Built so we have contain five there so we can contain six hobbits in total. One, two, three, four, five, seven now. Oh, one going. There he goes, there he goes, the chicken. Good stuff. Now we're going to wheelbarrow them all into the base. Right, let's go have a look at this. Let's turn a zombie into a hombie. Here he comes. Hello. Level one hombie. I'm afraid your time's going to be short then. Someone will come on, come on. I hope someone will come They're all in bed. Quite a lot of them are. Oh, damn, I can't admit. <laughs> Need free storage units. 
Oh, oh my, oh my word. Um, hauling, I forgot to move the hauling post. The hauling post was supposed to go there. Because now we've got all this wood over the floor just rotting away. Um, yeah, it has been two hours, but I just want the last thing. I want to get my final goal, like my stream goal, was to get to tier two. And I'm so close to getting to tier two right now. So that's what I want to do. I want to send off three of these to Moose Lab. Three or four of these to Moose Lab. And convert them into cure points. So if I get them into cure points, I can unlock the tier two stuff. So, um, so Charlie the Rail is a new Hombi. Hello. Hello. Collecting him. The zombie's doing it. Oh look, look, he's dripping all over the ground block. Also the zombies work for us as well, so sending them away all the time probably isn't the best idea. See that he's gone and got a little bit snack. Oh, bless him. Took his wheelbarrow and went and got a snack. That's really nice. Shame we're sending him away to do strange experiments on them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what a noise. Um. Oh, you, you, you're getting really tired, aren't you? Oh, it's gone foggy. Um, why have I got that one picking up this? Oh, we have. Oh, the Hombi's doing it. The Hombi's actually clearing all this wood. Awesome. I didn't know they actually did work. I thought they just sat there and did nothing. So that's the reason why I've been sending them all off to, to get researched on and be experimented on. I didn't know we could use them as things to do stuff around the, the camp. Oh my, that's... Yeah. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, these fences need to go. So, let's get rid of these. Right. Also, maybe they can only do selected tasks. Maybe they can't do like buildings and things like that. Um, but what I really want now is I want a resource camp down here to collect this ore. Yeah, that, I don't think that's important yet because we're not really using metal. Not plenty of stone. It's wood. Wood is. Wood is going to be our our big thing.
thing, because without that, I can't get to the next tier. Um. Oh, we've run out of berries. Have we? Have we, run out, have we actually run out of berries? No, because we can use carrots. Um, so why are we not be using... Are we growing berries in the vegetable plants? No, we're growing carrots. So why are we using berries? In this? Is this configurable? Is there a thing that we can configure to it? So we only use carrots? Because I don't have berry technology right now. Um, maybe I'll need to unlock berry technology. Right, okay. So now we can make berries. We can put that down here, something. Um, sort of very uh, very growing um, um, right, rotate that round a bit stick that there so that's the hold up with the treatment room because we didn't have glow breeze. now we oh that's no <laughs> No, no, no. I'm gonna go like that. Right, so now we should at least have some glow berry. How many hombies do we have here? Two hombies. Okay, they're happy. Because apparently as well, it's hombies. One thing that I did read is if um, you don't feed them right and you don't give them somewhere to exercise, they become violent and they'll start eating the faces of all the rest of your crew. So that's the reason why I didn't want them sitting around because I thought they, they're just going to kill everyone. Um, you know, I don't want them snacking on my crew. Turn that down, that's it the normal priority so we can turn all these off actually for this specific oh no we can't that's my bad thing aren't I? Um yeah, I'm gonna need to build a new hole place. So almost. Oh no that's in the, that's in range. That one. We moved it, it's moved down slightly and now it's in range of that, so that's even cool. So we're taken care of with the berries. So how many? Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to be staying on three hours. I'm just going to try and get to this tier two. I'm really so close to it. I only need four berries. Then we can start back into production. Um, low berries. We have none. And that is definitely in range, isn't it? Yep, definitely is in range.
guys um, and what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to go to Moose Lab and I'm going to order some fire berries should take over the planter should take over I watch them start using carrots after this yep see now I've got blue berries now they've got some lime vinegar Should we have this system in place because if we didn't have had these these zombie cooling storage facility, it'd have all melted and they'd have been running around the camp like eating everyone. We'd have had some very disgruntled guests. Um, Send them straight to Moose Lab now. Um, four. Um, so we'll send four. So we need this up to 100%. So I need more than that. Okay. Send a helicopter. That's cool. How many more? So we've got this one there. Three. Maybe we'll have enough. Maybe. If we did. Oh, we need to do some serious repairing for this fence. The fence is getting mushed. I don't know how many attacks of these fences can hold. Crumble. when that zombie got into it and they started bashing all these walls. We've still got some walls that need repairing around here. I will do that next stream or something. I'll do that off camera and, and repair all the walls up and build this out square in case of this. That's probably something that we might do off camera. Um, but eventually I want to bring this down right down here across here. need to gain a lot more because I need this I need this and I need a hundred cure points and I don't know where my cure points are it doesn't actually give me a readout for cure points does it blueberry chemicals ores no it gives me my research but it doesn't give me Cure points. Statistics. That gives me nothing. It'd be nice if I had that as well. You know, like a little meter. Because it is a spendable item. I know it's... Maybe that feature will get added. Because obviously it's still in early access. 
Um, but it would be nice to see that on the bar. Look, there is a space available right there. You can put it like shift all these over by one and have it right there underneath the research. Because that would be nice to know. Um, okay. So, it's a shame you can't, like, click on this cable as well and, you know, like, get rid of that one if you wanted to. Because this just automatically snaps. And this thing kind of, you know, like, goes in triangles everywhere. Doesn't look nice. I need that one there. And I need that one there. So, and obviously, I'll remove this one. It's part of the main starter base. Um, so yeah, so if you, a lot more positives than negatives about the game. Um, that bugs me as well. I mean, I could always destroy it and go and put it back, but I don't want to. Um, no, it bugs me, but I don't want to do anything about it. Um, I think everyone's now. One away. I'm gonna be one humby away from getting that. So, uh, when the helicopter lands, I think we're gonna call it a day with a stream. This is a zombie threat level. Threat level 2.2. Wow. So, the. What's this? Crashed airplane. Looks like crashed airplane here. Loads of little things all around the map. Because look, whoop, on the map, got all these little things, and we're only just in this one. So, and there's all these other little research places and stuff. So, and then each time that you move to a new research thing, it gets harder. So, figuring out the basics today has took some. <laughs> yeah, you're going away, aren't you? Um, eventually, I'm gonna. Maybe when we get this to level two, we'll start keeping these. And we'll start putting them to work. Because we can use these guys for power. And it keeps them entertained as well. So we could build like loads of running wheels or something somewhere. We could build their own little confinement. Which would be cool. You could confine them in like their own little space. They can have their own rooms, their own little kitchen. They can't actually get to us because we can take these power lines over the walls. And we can have like an entire. Yeah, that would. That's probably that's probably got to happen next stream. In next stream, we're going to have to have like over here. We're going to have like a big massive square plot all power running wheels inside there and that was going to be our factory that'll be our power factory and then we'll build them like their own little kitchen and their own little gym and their own little like steam room sort of thing um this thing with their own little couches and stuff to sit on so they've got their own little their own little i'm not going to say prison but prison um yeah, and then all the zombies can go in there and create power. That's it. Yeah, progress. Okay. So I'm not going to wait until the next night and then freezing all the rest of them and then think. So tier two will happen next stream. So we'll get on to that in our next stream. And then we'll be tier two, raise everything up, and then we can start building some really... Yeah, we can start building this treatment chamber. Um, I need 200 glow berries. That sh shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I'll do some grinding off camera, but I'll not use the the research points. You know, like gather wood, gather glow berries. It's a shame that there isn't no way that we can like forestry thing needs food production. 
really should be something that, like a, a forestry production. Yeah, that's a thing, but. Calling post, resource camp 2, furnace level 2, chemical extractor, stone crusher. There's nothing that puts lumber back into the system. It really should be that, like, something. But that isn't, doesn't seem to be a thing. Is there something? Is it more end game or something? Smeltery, automated smeltery, chemical extractor, tree nursery, tree nursery. So that's in better. Um, 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 oh, oh wow! So at tier three, it does. Okay. Right, okay, so that's something that we need to get into quite quickly because the limiting factor on a lot of these things is going to be lumber. And so we need to get into tier 3 as quickly as possible to get this unlocked. This, to me, should be like... We should have another thing here, like manual planting. And then over here, automatic. And then... You know, like build up these ones. So, okay. Right, that is what it is. So, we'll save the progress of this game and new save game. And we will call it. Um, call it Swifty Twitch. Um, then, save game. Right, so overall thoughts of the game. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I really like the, the graphics and everything. It did have that little bit of a glitch um, about halfway through where it just froze. Um, but it was no biggie. It froze for, what, five to ten seconds and then everything started working again. So not to think. Bugs wise, it's been okay. I know the, the graphics, some of the graphics are a little bit glitchy because things are, um, like the wheelbarrows are going into the trees and things. But you know what? Does that really matter? It's, the game's still playing well. Um, yeah, and the only really things that I did kind of wear me is that thing that's over there. Uh, you can't actually see it, but. Over there where the mouse is going. Over there there's that like big clump of um no fence posts. You know, and how they like all that's weird. My head's like goes completely white. Um all that like clump of fence posts that uh, when you delete a fence from it it leaves the clump there. Um I know I could just destroy that and rebuild a new piece, but I don't wanna do that. Um, yeah, so uh, the game plays really well. That's, um, and for like an early access thing, I think it's really well balanced as well. Um, the, I think you've got to put a little bit more thought, thought into it, so, um, if you're not doing the tutorial, like I only played with this tutorial for about 10 minutes and if um, like with the tutorial, if I'd have played it longer, I might have learned more about some of the other options and things like that. Um, however, like the trees are going to be a really important part of the research. Uh, research, um, yeah, 
because you need that to spend for research points with your research points and stuff to tier up and a lot of them like for tier two is three thousand and if you see like i'm sitting on two thousand six hundred and i imported a load of stuff from moose labs and i don't even know really what i've been using wood on for the last two or three game days um other than the 10 oh i did build the the globe plant so that's really all i now built oh and i did some repair work as well so i'm guessing it uses them for repairs um but it's still a pretty a pretty well um balanced game in my opinion so i will be coming back to this game um i find it really fun i find it really quirky i love the animations of the zombies and stuff i really want to know what happens like when we level them up and we get them to like zombie level two i'm really looking forward to seeing them running in like their little hamster wheels and stuff and providing power for us and i really want to get to the point where we cure a humby into a human um i know that's like end game sort of thing but you know what we're gonna get there eventually so right i think that's enough from me so i'm gonna say bye bye farewell and all take care and i'll see you all in the next episode or the next stream um maybe some smaller streams happening tomorrow um we're just a couple of little simple games i think we're gonna end up playing things like um catastronauts and it's going to be playing some multiplayer games. So I think we're going to be playing Catastronauts and is it like a food game? Um, where you have to sort of like cook, serve, and think, wash up and things like that. I can't remember what the game's called, but it looks pretty fun. Um, so yeah, right. I'm going to say goodbye. Take care. Have a great morning, evening or night. See you all later. Bye for now.